Until now, the World Equestrian Games have been an exclusively European event, but that's changing. For the first time ever, the world's biggest equestrian competition is coming to the United States, to the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington this fall. This will be the biggest equestrian event to take place on American soil ever. So I'm not so sure we really know what to expect. I think the country, the, the equestrian world is very enthusiastic about it. To be able to stay within the confines of the border and see the world's greatest, I think it's, it's gonna be just a, an event that will probably reflect on it and say that was just unbelievable. Reining is the only Western discipline in the games. The other seven disciplines include the exciting and colorful driving, held for teams of four horses, leading a carriage through three tests, driven dressage, a marathon race, and an obstacle course. The sport's exhilarating. There's, uh, there's a lot that can go on. People can turn over, things like that. Alan Mann of Attaquan talked with the only American to win an individual medal at the World Driving Championships, seven-time USEF champion Chester Weber at his training base in Ocala, Florida. So Chester, these are remarkable athletes. Uh, they have to be sound, they have to be smart, they have to be team players. Can you share a little bit about these? Yeah, uh, you know, they go from doing dressage to the likes of chuck wagon racing, so they need speed and power and stamina and, uh, you know, movement and uh, athletic ability. They, they, they're, they're quite remarkable. Uh, the reality is to get one ready for the FEI level, it's about 3,000 hours of work. You can do, you know, roughly 1,000 hours of work if you work six days a week with a horse. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it's tough. The, uh, unlike many other, you know, equestrian disciplines, you take, the, you know, racing for an example. They're, you know, running the Kentucky Derby, they probably made the, the most important race of their career at, at, at three. Whereas, you know, when I break horses uh, into, into driving, maybe they have some riding background or something like that. Um, but they're, they're really, um, it's, it's really unusual that they would be anywhere younger than five. To me, it looks like they're uh, just a mass of this energy. How do you control these animals? Which, which horses are you communicating with on a regular basis? Well, um, you, know, you sort of think about them in two different pairs, the leaders and the wheelers. Um, you're communicating with all four of them, hopefully, all the time, <laughs> and, and, and they're working with you. Um, but their roles are distinctly quite a bit different. The leaders need to be bold and very forward and um, willing to go through water and tight, difficult things. And uh, uh, the wheelers need to be strong and powerful. So. You, I, I couldn't say that one role is more important than the other. They're sort of synergetically fit together, but certainly horses uh, have different strengths in, in, in different areas. The great thing about the cross country is um, it's a fun day to be had for, for anybody who's interested in horses or you know likes a horse or their child likes a pony because it's exhilarating. It's like uh, you know uh, NASCAR or something like that. There are carriages that tip over, there are grooms that fling off, there's uh, lots of lots of excitement that happens, uh, so it's it's unique. Uh, unlike some of the you know the dressage or some things like that, where you really have to have some uh, you know intimate knowledge of what's going on. It's being judged on a subjective basis. What do they like or not like? Well, you know the reality is uh, in the cross country, you have to do gates A through F, and the fastest person through there, they they get it done. Certainly, crashing around doesn't usually. Um, equate to speed, but um, but there's some people who try that way too. <laughs> <laughs> Going out there and trying to take home the gold, what would that mean to do it on your home turf? You know, um, it, it 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 would mean the it it would mean a lot. Um, but I've I always try and sort of stay grounded because somebody told me once that horses make you humble. So. I'm a pretty humble person, and I've, I've, I've had a plenty of humbling from horses, but I, you know, as I said, I have high hopes if they all stay uh, sound and they're, they're doing well, um, I, th I think they'll be, they'll be a force to be reckoned with. I think that we won the individual silver medal at the last games, and uh, the team was, uh, I think the team is better now. Uh, they're a little faster on Saturday and a little better, a little easier to drive on Sunday. So. Barring they all stay sound and I stay fit and sound and the guys who go with me on the carriage stay on and stay fit and sound, uh, 
we're doing our best, uh, training hard, and that's that's sort of all you can do right now. Adequan is proud to be a major sponsor of Inside Reining, the National Reining Horse Association, and the United States Equestrian Federation. Thanks, Adequan. Thank you, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Vielen Dank, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Grazie mille, Adequan. Thank you, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan.